two, one. We live. Yeah, Welcome do your, back. Do your another, intro. Go ahead. Welcome back to another episode of <laughs> No Jumper News. Today we got AD Lush, Almighty Suspect. Mm -hmm. Let's get into these topics. What, what, what's, what, what's up with the the intro music? Bump and a bum. I don't know. I got to still work on that. Bump and a bum. Bump and a bum. Right, make it sound like Bobbity. I like that. Hey, could, could someone get my man's ashtray one time for the culture? Yeah, I do need an ashtray. Most definitely. Behind you. There you go. Uh, good looking. What's the deal with everybody, man? How's your weekend, AD? All right, time me to go to sleep. <laughs> I ain't going to do that today. No, weekend was cool, man. Weekend was cool. Yeah, shit, niggas was cool, man. Nothing what, major. With my kids, man. Really... Mostly my son. We was going everywhere. Okay. What'd you guys do? Go to Best Buy and get a whole bunch of equipment and just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to take him to this little like this little bounce house, but they had a private party. Did Lexi redo the the uh, cave, or did you? The do cave that? was that the uh, downstairs? I saw you got. She like, did all, all new that. Yeah, all new furniture. All new furniture, everything. everything. It looked you feel good. Me? The blue yeah. chairs and everything. I got another new spot too. That's about to have that shit decorated like. Oh, crazy. that's why you was getting rid of all the chairs and stuff, huh? Yeah. yeah. New spot, and then I mean, so the setup downstairs is is completely different, and then other spot is about to be like you know some plus shit. Yeah. I think you need to get rid of some of your hat inventory. Mm -mm. Give it to you. Some seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Cap City because I'm going over there in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to my guy Justin Cap City, man. They keep me laced up, so I'm about to get some new flavors. You do have some crazy shelving in that room, and if you put like figures and some of the, your toys and stuff on there, you'd have a pretty crazy collection of stuff. Bro, you got a, you got a good collection too. Yeah, but I'm on the give Lush some hats wave. Yeah, I agree. Make room for some. Toys. You have my if you wore my size and all. You know yeah, I know you, you. Yeah, you got you got too. Much. I will for sure slide him. You got too much cranium for the boy though. I ain't gonna lie. Pause. 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 Too much cranium. Pause as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This nigga said you got too much cranium for him. Pause, my nigga. Oh man, that get, was crazy. Let's get to the first topic. <laughs> we crazy. said at the same time too. Uh, All Chris, right, we can pause that. Krishan Rock announced that she's pregnant. Blueface wants a DNA test. I would want a DNA test, too. Man. The latest chapter in Blueface and Krishan Rock's dysfunctional relationship unfolded on Friday with Rock announcing that she's pregnant. Rock took to social media to deliver the news, posting a picture of three positive pregnancy tests. Hours later, Blueface responded to an announcement via Twitter saying she's pregnant with somebody else's child. To answer your questions, yes, me and Rock are officially done. It's strictly business. I tried to end it. Clearly, it wasn't given. Before she announced she's pregnant with somebody else's child, not mine, he tweeted. In another tweet, Blueface added, Rock has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year. Until I see DNA tests, then it's not mine. <laughs> I feel that. Y'all don't remember when uh, when she went to jail and then she got out and she was on the beach with the CO? Yeah. Y'all remember that? Like, yeah, come on. That. That, and that's just the, the only thing we've seen. You feel me? So I'm sure it's a lot of other shit she be doing behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if I was him, I'd give me a DNA test too. That bitch is nuts. Yeah, I need a DNA test for sure. For if, sure, for if sure. If he's confirmed that she's had encounters with 10 different men, how many men has she really had encounters with? Right. That's just the confirmed that he's been able to find. I mean, at this point, I feel like when you see their interactions... Do y'all feel like Blueface is just somewhat traumatized by her and shit? Like he never, he doesn't respond. He shows no emotion. I, I mean, it's like nah. he's disassociating. I just think he's smart. It's a half and half situation. You feel me? Because some people like that toxic shit, man. Sometimes that cat is that cat will have a hold on you, man. It's something about it. Mm. I don't know. I think he's smart. I think he know that that bitch is keeping his shit alive. I think he like her. I think he definitely has genuine feelings for her, but I think that he knows that nigga, her name keeps a lot of his name in in the media. And without her and her drama and their antics together, I feel like he'll fade away into fucking irrelevancy. So I feel like he do that. I for ain't gonna her. say all that though. Hey, that's the truth. That's the truth. I, she now, keeping I get you, that shit. I get she you. I get that you with booming. the. Um, she he, keeping it booming for he sure. He likes her. I. Ain't, I don't think he just fully up there, just like on the using her train. I think he really likes her. No, he really. But like I her think sure. he's smart and he realizes that she that, is keeping the eye and keeping this train going. You did feel you me? see what he posted? Like how much he was making off of OnlyFans every month? Come yep. on, bro. I was yep. impressed with that. People want to see her. I mean, was it, she not on the other seasons? Mm. At, at a certain point. 
when does a relationship be like pass a level of toxicity where it's completely tainted and you can never just be whole again? I mean, it, like, I the, think he need to get away from her. Like, she go fuck around, stab his ass. He's caught phase with her daddy. Like, see, come but, on, fool. But like, after going through all of this, it, I don't see him getting away from that long nah. term. You know what I'm saying? Because nah. listen, some drastic can, has to happen. Yes, she can be crazy. She can be all that, whatever. But sometimes a nigga like a a more loyal woman, you feel me, having your back than having to go out in the world and deal with all this bullshit at the end of the day. Because she go hard for that nigga. What, he, what she tatted on him three, four times? Five, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? At least I know, hey, I can trust you or, you know what I'm saying? I guess. Not I really, yeah. I guess. In 10 different encounters in the last year, can you really trust her? You right. He can trust that she's going to do some out-of-pocket insane shit and it's going to be wild. Um, it was crazy, like, seeing the whole back and forth between him and Ack. And and Ack was talking about how their how his house got foreclosed on and all that, or how he's like in the foreclosure process. And he said basically it's because due to the volume of complaints that they received for sure from there being uh, shootings at the crib, noise complaints, just police involvement, altercations. My favorite comment on it was what Blasey said in the group chat when Blasey was all like, imagine like you've been saving up money your whole life. To get your dream for, home. To get your dream home and you move next to Blueface. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, 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 and all the antics and shit. That's got to be fucked up. Yo, so he came out and said all this. You guys all support like this toxic relationship's no good. What if for sure. the baby is his? The baby is his, and he wanted to just deal with it. Yeah, and this, there's no end to this. Right. I, I mean, it would never ever, be an end. It's never an end. Like it's this is forever at that point. Hey, if I was him, man, I, I, I would convince her to abort that motherfucker. I wouldn't dare. She's already. I got, would, she, she's got multiple abortions. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. say that. She's got multiple abortions I'm already. I'm just saying, if I was him. I'm not saying what I would do. I'm just saying, if I was him, like nigga, you gotta find a way out this shit like ASAP. ASAP, because then it's finna get bad. Like, it's cute right now for ratings and shit. When you ain't got no baby, you could just up and just leave. Now, nigga, when you got this kid, you really all tied that drinking, to her. All that drinking is out, out, out the, out yeah, the, you know what I'm really saying? Yeah, you're really tied to her. The way, the way that she's moving right now, she can't do that with no kid. And then what if, what if. All the fighting, all that shit. What nah. if she has a baby with a disability? Mm. I mean, yeah. God forbid, but she living wild. You feel me? You I, I never mean, know, bro. The, the, the level that could of, be an option. You the, feel me? The level of volatility keeps going up with every single encounter. I'm just concerned, like, where is this going to end? Because we've already seen increasing violence. It never, like, it never ends good. I mean, this could end in tragedy, to be honest with you. It's I'm going to. God forbid, but this situations like this, it, 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 it only goes one or two ways. He, I think she going to end up hurting him or herself. Or both. And he, then it's going. I ain't putting that on nobody, but I'm, not. You know I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? just saying. That's best case scenario. Yeah. To be honest. I'm just saying, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just a realist. Like, I'm just going to keep it a buck, bro. She's nuts, and he is going she's to definitely, stay around her. She's definitely the nuts. The only way out is, nigga, for some crazy shit to happen. That's what it's, that's what it's appearing. He, they already did the crazy shit that your average person would have already backed out from and been like, nah, this too much. So, nigga, for them, it's going to have to be something extreme. See, but I've seen situations like this, sometimes even worse. This is just more glorified on a higher scale because who it is. But, like, this shit is normal. And it's it's not good at all. Like, I don't fuck with it. I've been in some very toxic relationships, but I've never... Have either one of y'all ever caught the fade with your significant other's father? No. That's no. like... There's no coming back from shit like that no. in my eyes. Like, you feel me? Like, that's... That's a deal breaker. I mean, right to there. be fair though, she fought his mom. And his that's sister. what I'm saying. They both. His that family, is kind of fair. His family brawls. That's you what I'm me? saying. That's how you know he really likes her. <laughs> he you must. Just let, either he just has no respect for anybody on earth, or he really <laughs> like her. Well, he you just said put anybody your hand, on earth because nigga, that's your mother. <laughs> he has a fucked up relationship. Like, like him and his mom have had a lot of public controversy yeah. too. So that's like, crazy. I mean, remember I could he, never. Bitch, put her hands on my mama. It's up. No cap. I mean, you don't it's know their situation. Uh, I well, well, my mom. You love your mom. I love you. Feel me, my mom. I can't say. Shout out how, to your mom too. Cause I just met her. You feel me, my mom. Nice, yeah. nice lady. Thank you, bro. So like, you feel me? I don't know. Like his relationship with his mama is clearly not like my me and me in the relationship with my mama. 
But nigga, I'll, I'll crash out, bitch. Put her I ain't gonna lie, my mom, mom I'm crashing I'm out. What? Crash it's a rat. 100%. It's I am crashing out. Now you fight my dad, I'm cool. You can get that off. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. But like me. You can handle that. Handle the handle. I'm close with my parents. I'm I'm yeah. crashing out. He ki- he kicked his mom's out the crib, remember? You know what's crazy? We 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 shot the We Hungry at the restaurant. His mom, you know. That's he, her spot. That was like her spot, low key. But like literally, what was it like? Josh, two, three days later. Yeah, it was the in the fight span and shit of happened. like three days where the restaurant was closed all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had all those reports and videos of them fighting in the driveway and outside the restaurant, like literally the day after we were up there. Him, him, him evicting, insane. him evicting his mom led to my favorite, my favorite blue face bar of all time. Oh, it's, uh, I had to kick my own blood out. I forgot, I forgot it was a crib. <laughs> that was all. <horrible. laughs> hey, no, but even like. The, he's so like, how can I say it? Uh, he be acting like he's so unfazed though. That's what I'm saying all the time. That's what I, I, I when niggas go to sleep at night. That's different. Man, why you think he always end up in bed with her? Man, I'm telling you, cat, she got he that. Like her, she, she break, got that grade A. Like her, bro. She has the wagyu of vaginas. I'm telling you, she y'all. got that red snapper. That's the only reason why she got you're that. gonna deal with all of that. You can sit there and say, "Man, I know she bad for me. I'm cool." But she put that shit on you. You sucked right back into the hole. I'm I telling never. you, I wagyu of vagina. I've, that's never happened. I've, I've, I've never had bro, that you, kind of vagina. It, it can happen though, bro. I'm she, telling you, nigga, like me. Never. I'm telling you, she might could got that fire, but I don't, I don't know. give a fuck what she got. It's not somebody gonna ever. somebody gonna get you one day, bitch, hit, bitch hit me with a bottle. Yeah, I, see, no, no, that's different. That's ain't no different. fucking way. Bitch hit me in the back of my head with a bottle. Ain't no way. See, because I ain't gonna hit you back. Because if I do, you are gonna be Tupac. You feel I me? Am. So We're I'm both cool. Going to jail today. Nah. <laughs> we both going nah, to jail. Because nah. when they when, when the police pull up and nah, see your suspect. face in the I back you of say my that. head, you're not gonna hit nobody, We're man. Going down. Nah, suspect, you ain't going down, man. We don't hit women. We're going down. I for sure have gotten hit over the head for the bottle by. You, no ever, you ever? You ever? You uh... ever? Hit a woman? No. <laughs> I'm not going to hit her with a bottle, but <laughs> it's going down in that motherfucker. Like you might give her an down. uppercut? Nah, I ain't going to punch her, but like it's going down. Nah, she just got to fade my homegirls. That's what it is. Nah, like, going, you I, don't 1, I don't got time for she that. I don't got time for that. She going to fade the homegirls. I don't got time for that. It's going down. It's going down immediately. But like, yeah, he's better than me. But yeah, like, like you said, though, you made a good point. I really think that he does thrive off of this because it is keeping his name in the spotlight it's it's just it's a shame because like i wish he would lean back into the music and all that but he definitely he said he doesn't care about the music anymore nigga if you see what's happening in music right now hip-hop as a whole album sales are dropping lower and lower there's not a lot of singles like that popping off it's not a lot of you know there's new talent but i don't feel like other than a few people, like music as a whole right now is 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 failing to a certain degree. Especially for men, let's be real. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a woman's market right now. A hundred percent. That's that's what's going on. And then you, you don't got nobody to steal sauce from no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. you got new styles. What you mean? I sure do. All right, but look, but can though. you but can you can you keep it real and and. Music right now is in a fucked up position. Definitely. Yeah. Super. And, bro, rap is the most dangerous job right now. Super. Why you have so many rappers that have, are now podcasters or streamers and like, nigga me. That's what I'm saying. Like, like who am I sitting mm-hmm. with right now? And then on top of that, even like fools like T Grizzly moving into going, gaming bro, going shit crazy. Like that's where the bro. bag at. Yeah. But then yeah. even when you look at it, right, you can go to this as, as a rapper, you got to go to the book some studio time. You got to get the song. You got to pay the producer. You got to get the song unmixed. You feel me? Then you got to get it mastered. Then you got to put the video. By the time that you even put that out to make a couple of dollars, like, nigga, you really didn't make nothing versus you can go on the stream, get the donations, get the YouTube revenue, and you got that shit like that, and it cost you damn near nothing. All the music does at this point, like, with the exception of if you're getting, like, um, mechanical royalties or streaming revenue or, or, um, or... or publishing from like Pub shit. from mm-hmm. from placements and shit like that. All it does is just keep your name lit. Essentially, there's yeah. nothing else. All you gotta do is just buy the equipment, and after your first month of making the money back, you already made your money back. And then from there, you it's already all did profit. It. It's all profit from there, basically. Once you get the equipment, make that little money back. From that point on, profit, nigga. Rap and, is different. You gotta you pay every it, time you rap. Every time, and you have, and you see like how the game is now with like. 
you know, TikTok coming out saying like, oh, yeah, our employees can make anything go viral now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we need to find the damn... Man, um, but I, but this, someone in China... This is how the shit. whole industry is. It's a, you know, it's a favor, pay that, to play. Pay to play, I would definitely yes, say Yes, that. that's, that's what this shit really is. So when you understand, especially being an independent artist, what you're up against in this industry is definitely not fair. And you're going to have all. to do other shit to remain relevant. On the other side of the coin, as for long sure. as, as an artist, and it's been like this for a long time, and this has always been the line that I pushed, if you find your niche audience, if you find, if you have people that'll, if you have 5,000 people that'll buy every month everything you put out, that could sustain you for a long time. Nigga, Larry time. June do it the right way. That's what you I'm feel saying. Me? Yeah. Currency has an amazing diehard fan base. Dom Kennedy has an amazing diehard fan base. It's niggas like that. That if you are going to do it, you want to model yourself behind shit like that. Like Rock Marcy, Freddie all, Gibbs. Bro, There's a bunch of them, bro. Of them. That every time they drop, they're getting the merchandise in. They're getting the records. They're going to the concerts no matter what. Fools are dropping vinyl and selling it for $100 each. It's like, definitely easier right now than it has ever been for you to go the independent route. 100%. It's just a lot of motherfuckers don't want to do that work. And it all depends on the type of individual you are. A lot of people aren't like entrepreneur, like savvy, or a lot of... A lot of people don't even think like that, you know Facts. what I'm saying? Or they don't know how, or they just don't want to. So a lot of people will go the easy route and just go the major label route. But I think it takes a, a certain type of individual to even be able to go the independent route and do it successfully. You need a good, you need a good team no matter what. That too. And there's you no, have to have a good team. Th there's no concentrated local scene anymore where people could just go and you can network with other artists, network with fans, rock shows, and people are gonna like you. Feel me? It, th that that's a thing of the past. You feel me? Like that's a whole antiquated concept. Which that's the only thing that makes it more difficult for independent artists but the on the flip side you ain't even got to leave your house you could record on your phone like have that shit put out through distro kids same day mix and master have all that shit and you know even before that get a beat from somebody from motherfucking lithuania and you straight yeah pretty much but That's even a, a million streams is what is it, what is it? Three thousand like, yeah, dollars. Say between twenty five hundred and five racks. It's just chump trash. change, nigga. They give you zero point zero 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 point, nigga. Thirty two straight trash. cents on that, nigga. And every time you get a, every time you get a, somebody click on your shit. So it's like this shit is not. It's not even set up to where the artists are in favor in in no shape or fashion. We really like really, bro. Title pay the most. And, but people and use people don't, don't, even fuck but with people don't, don't use it like that. People yeah. don't even fuck with titles. So like, really, we gotta figure out the really the best way is get you a website and sell your music directly from your website. Bandcamp so you, and get Bandcamp all your is money. great. For that. Russell is doing it the right way. You feel me? You gotta. He's get killing you a, it when it comes yep. down to doing shit on his own and doing his concerts and you know what I'm saying, letting people pay what they want to pay to support what he got going on. For, for upcoming artists, what I would recommend, make sure you, for show sure, register with the PRO company for your performance mm -hmm. royalties. Get Sign up with either ASCAP or BMI, or if you're in Canada, sign up with SoCan. Drop your shit, and instead of trying to get a label deal, try to get a publishing deal so you can get your placements on and yeah, but even that pub, way more money. Even that pub deal. They get yeah, a piece of down there everything get, yeah. until, you know you'll what I mean? You, they, they, you'll get, you'll get a large upfront... You'll get large on front money, but then you, you'll end up losing in the long run. Nah, yeah, but like at, at the end of the day, they, they can't take your songwriting credit. No. They can't take your publishing for your actual records. You know what I mean? So so yeah, they'll be they'll be getting some of it, but in the end, that's the best way to actually get sustainable month, monthly income off of music. And you gotta make sure that you audit in those records too, because they'll yep. They'll like fuck around and be taking all kind of shit from you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just got to be cautious with this shit, bro. It's real hard. The music business is, is real cutthroat, cut throat, nigga. Mm -hmm. That shit is like, nigga, ocean full of sharks, nigga. For real, for real. You got to be very careful and aware of what's going shit, on. Shit, so is podcasts and so is YouTube. Shit, all this shit, All bro. this shit's treacherous. Man. I thought this shit was going to be chill. Like. Entertainment <laughs> yeah, business you thought, in yeah. Nah, you'll be chill if you were somewhere other than No Jumper, nigga. Yeah, but this shit is reality TV. Man. Not, but the cold part is, <laughs> no you, you might be chill if you somewhere else, but on No Jumper, you're gonna get way more people watching and giving a fuck. Like that's a that's a built in audience to play off of. So you know, oh, it's yeah, a, it's a give I, and take. Ain't, I ain't saying nothing bad about this motherfucking nigga. This is where we eating at. I'm just saying, like, nigga, this is no, a one of a right. kind. Shit, place. I will. This is a one of a kind <laughs> play. For real. Fuck. You feel me? I got a man. Listen, 
Niggas got to come in here, man, yell at niggas all day, every day. But I feel like, you know, it is what it is. It's getting, you know what I'm saying? Long as niggas know what time it is. Yeah. Josh over there, like, I don't want to hear it today. Yeah, Josh is, Josh is looking <laughs> straight forward. No eye contact. You can He's see like, it. Not today. His skin <laughs> color like, is fuck. changing. How did we get here? tired of this He's shit? He's like, how do we get here? Fuck. Josh be getting tired. I know, <laughs> I know he tired of it because I be getting tired of the shit. You know what I'm saying? If only someone had predicted this like a year and a half ago. You did? <laughs> Right. What, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, he been saying this shit. What? I, I wasn't here. So what'd you say? That the infighting, the airing each other out on air versus having conversations off air was going to be the downfall. Yes. Yeah. How did you know back then? Because it wasn't even like that back then. No, it? we started. It, it was like that. Yes, like the very early days of AD being here on the No Jumper Show. She was the, bad at the end of the day, especially like there were just these. There were. There was, yeah. seemed to be more conflict than there ever was before. I think it was mm. worse then than it is now. So AD, it was. AD brought crazy. the conflict? Is that what he said? How could it be right. worse than mm. now? Because it, no, there was, it was more bad, personality. Bro. That's crazy. There's no way it was worse than no, now. No, it was a lot, no. bro. It was a new... The early days of me coming place. here, bro, it was ridiculous. That's worse crazy. than now. That's yeah. crazy. It, uh, now it's getting up there, but it was, it was... It's a lot of shit that y'all don't know. Definitely. The thing is this, though. Like, I recall... I want to say back in October or some shit, there is apparently a precedent set. We, we're we not going to discuss in-house drama on air yeah. anymore. Then literally that same motherfucking day, in-house drama was discussed. Man. Like somebody up top got to sl- cut that. And I you can, feel me? And, and I can say. And yeah, I can say. Around, just press the red button. Anytime yeah. Anytime people get to talk. I can say shit. where I've been at fault about that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Causing things and doing certain shit, you know, not trying to be maliciously, but yeah, nigga, I can I can sit there and take the blame for certain shit too. But the earlier day, bro, I'm telling you, like this shit was ridiculous. Like I I didn't know. It was a couple of times where I was like, I don't think I'm gonna fucking want to be here this long because it's it was a lot. It was a lot going on. Do you feel like also nowadays, like the fact that there's the clips channel where so much of that those actual interactions and discussions have like a house to, to to just you feel me i mean i just feel like we we shed light on a lot of the bullshit you feel me like we open the doors for a lot and everybody has a part to play in that shit and you know even like with this house phone situation we got to have some type of camaraderie at the end of the day i'm not happy about that situation at all i don't fuck with how that shit was done you feel me I'm not sitting there going to sit here and act like it's all cool. I'm not fucking with that shit 100%. You feel me? Because situations like that that happen, nigga, nothing like that needs to happen again. I ain't fucking. If this something like that happens again, fuck this fight. Fuck no jumper. I'm not fucking with this shit, bro. Shit yeah. like this, nigga, it ain't cool. So when it comes down to how everything is and how it's wrapped in here now, like, we got to show. We can joke around on streams. We can sit there and say shit. But nobody in this building should try to do things to maliciously fuck with anybody on here. I don't give a fuck if I hate Lush guts. If I'm talking to this nigga and if I feel like I could be on camera with you, nigga, and I don't hate you by the way. Yeah, no, I'm just saying I'm so. using you as an example. Yeah. If I'm if I'm using you, if I'm sitting here next to you and shit like that, bro, I gotta have some type of respect for you because when situations like this happen, all we do is tell the world that we can be picked on, we can be picked apart. Our company look weak as a motherfucker. You feel me? From the top all the way to the bottom. I don't give a fuck who it is. Straight up. Adam, Josh, nigga, AD, house, fun- whoever the fuck it is, bro. We got to have some type of respect for each other. We ain't got to like each other, but if we going to sit there and do this shit, bro, like this shit weak. Situations like what happened to house phone never need to happen again. Certain situations outside of shit never need to happen again. And that should be a testament of how we should move going forward. Because this shit is all fucked up. And I think really what it comes down to is leadership. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nigga, it take nigga Adam first because Adam is the fucking boss of this shit. He got to hold this shit down the right way. But that shit needs to trickle this motherfucker down. Everybody needs to take heed to how shit's supposed to be. We, we got to have love for each other, bro. I can honestly say I come in here and I'll be like, you know what? I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Yeah, we may get into it and certain shit when it comes down to that. But at the end of the day, bro, like we have to fuck with each other to some 
type because why why are we being on camera with each other? Right. If I don't like you, I'm gonna say I'm not filming with Lush. I'm not filming with Almighty. I'm not filming with this person. I'm not filming with this person. If that's the case, why the fuck am I even here? Right. You get what I'm saying? So unless all that kumbaya shit and let's be fake and let's just get on camera and get a bag, I'm not with that shit, bro. Especially I'm not. It's, it's super niggas weird. Niggas don't that. like niggas and niggas don't fuck with each other, man. Let that shit be known. Nigga, let's handle this shit the old way. No cameras. Y'all niggas get that shit out your system. Let's get back to it. And if you can't sit there and get back to it, get the fuck on. We started, we ended last year, like the Christmas party. Everybody, I felt like there was a great vibe. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know what the fuck happened between December 23rd and January 2nd. But I think personally, it's everybody like this camera can be fucking the devil. It could be addictive. People can see how comments, Reddit, everything can sway people's opinions to do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, nigga, to everybody else watching this shit, yeah, this is entertainment for y'all, but this is people's real lives and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is real fucking life. Like, people got to go home. When you say certain shit to certain people, they got to read that shit. This, they got to go back home and, and just deal with everything and then come back over here and shit, too. Or somebody can DM Lush and be like, oh, Lush, you a bitch-ass nigga. And then he feel like he got to talk for a week about the situation because he... Don't, I'm like, nigga, this shit is getting out of hand now. And if we don't uh, shed light on certain situations, yeah, we could joke, we could do all type of shit like that. But for the most part, bro... All of this shit needs to be, it needs to be way more tighter than what it is. If not, this company going to burn to the fucking ground. I'm not going to be here to watch this shit burn to the ground. And I might be the one doing the burning. No, I feel you. And I'm definitely, to echo your sentiments, I'm not happy with what happened to House Phone. Like I said on the news stream with Adam the other day, that footage should have never come out. Even beyond there, then, like, it should have never even been filmed because the fact that you got, um... You know, people in the room hearing that, like that's being said in front of Danny Mullen, that's being said in front of the editing staff. That, that that's weak. That that had to happen. You know what I mean? How and but beyond that, we just need to keep that same energy across the board because what happened with me and Flacco before that wasn't cool. There's so many other things. But see, even cool. even the Flacco situation, and you know, I told you that I felt like you took it worse than anybody else. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Cause I and it's not you, it's nigga. You're letting outside influence make it seem like you have to respond to everything when you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to do the extra shit. And I tell you, I'm like, look, stay off the fucking Reddit, stay out of them fucking comments, bro. If you can't mentally take this shit and see what's going on, bro, like you was talking about, you was on the verge to relapsing. I'm like, nigga, none of this camera shit and doing this shit for this paycheck, my nigga, is worth you, nigga, working this hard to get from where you came from, bro, to even get back to you thinking about relapsing, nigga. That shit's weak as fuck. Well, like you said, that shit, that shit affects our real lives outside of here. You know what I mean? And when you're hearing about it from the people back home and all that, and like it's it, that the dynamic changes. And even if you do unplug from the matrix, which I had to do and kind of recalibrate my entire approach, it's still, it, it becomes something too much. We need to be, uh, we need to protect each other. At but Lush, point. you're in position, right? So who gives a fuck what nobody else say? I told Almighty the same shit. Yeah, can't fight I everybody. A fuck. I don't be giving a you fuck, You can't bro. fight, you can't fight everybody. Nigga, nigga, nigga come on YouTube right now. Oh, you this, you this, you that. Niggas nigga, can say whatever they it's want. It's different when you in 3D. It's different when you face to face, because I've yet to see niggas really, really in 3D, really talk about what they've been saying on the internet and, and see what time it is when it's when it's in your face, nigga. I only reply to on. niggas when I know them. If I don't know you, you could say what the fuck you want to say about me. I don't give a fuck on what website it is, if it's on the internet, if it's on YouTube, Reddit. I don't give a fuck. A nigga can say whatever the fuck they want. That shit don't really bother me, but niggas... Maybe it's, it's because, nigga, I've grown up in the social media world where I don't even really remember what it was like before a phone. Like, nigga, I had a phone my whole life. Nigga, I had a fucking Instagram since I was like 13. Nigga, people has always been able to say whatever they want about me since I can remember. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a little, reg it's, it's, it's regular to me. Like, it's just a part of nigga living to me. Nigga, I have I have Facebook before, nigga, Instagram since like fucking 2010, and niggas can say what the fuck they want about you. You no, feel me? So like, and I, that shit just like in my blood already. Like, nigga, people gonna say what they want, bro. Now it's just on a bigger, you know what I'm saying? Just on, on a bigger stage, cause now I'm a part of some shit with fucking five, four million subscribers. So, but it's just the same shit. Like, niggas been saying whatever the fuck they wanted to say about me on social media since you can remember, cause nigga, that's all I've known. So it's like that shit is regular to me. That shit don't bother me. No, and. and I I feel that and I've been, 
you know, I've been on the on internet communities and online and somewhat in the public eye since 2004 or 2005. The difference is this just happened like for me, this was like a really like a big transitional time in my life. So it kind of hit a little bit different you feel me and i had like leaned into that a little bit too much so i like i said i had to recalibrate and just find some things in my life that are exciting outside of all this shit and once i've been trying to do that it's it's kind of changed as to where it doesn't have the same effect on me but at the end of the day i, st I stand by what i say as far as we need to if we're we ain't got to be best friends but we do need to at least protect each other from certain things that are going to affect our lives outside of here and it ain't it's one thing to who ride and, and make fun of each other we could do that till we're blue in the face uh, but at a certain point you know we gotta we gotta know when to draw the line and like certain levels of uh public humiliation like what phone had to endure that's just not cool yeah his life has changed forever now yeah that no matter what definitely fucked up. it ain't he can't never go back to being who the fuck he was you feel me people are always Especially in our community, they're gonna joke on him. They're gonna do all certain type of shit, and there ain't nothing that you just gloss over when it come down to that. That should never happen again to nobody in this fucking building. And I think it was dope the, you know, that that Illa is sticking with him and thugging it out through that situation. That that's good to see. His that, girl cheeks. Yeah, yeah. That 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 she's rocking with him through all that. Because I was concerned, like, damn, is this gonna end their relationship? You feel me? Like, because yeah, I was thinking like the same way. Like, you feel me? Because it's like it's different for us because like we already been in the spotlight for a while. All of us was doing something before we was on camera. But it's like for her, like when you an average person dealing with some shit like that is hard. But then when like you attached to, she was probably just like a nigga, like a regular person, like a couple months ago, but before she got on your get podcast, on, on so she's still even getting used to people talking about her like on a large scale. So for that to get through on them, like you feel me, I said it like when I was on the phone with one of my boys, like she a real bitch to be able to deal with that. You feel me? Because it's already hard to just deal with being in the spotlight just regularly. Mm -hmm. You feel me? There for. For you to just be in a spotlight a few months and then for that to get through on you a couple months after and to still be with the nigga, hey, that's a real bitch to me. I you respect her, She kept her too. solid. Yeah. She, 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 she was 10 toes. I, I wasn't sure how that was going to play out. You know what I mean? But so it's, it's cool that she, that it makes me think that hopefully that they're going to be with each other for a while. And I'm know. sure that helped him get through this shit a lot too. Uh, I've been talking to phone every day yeah. throughout this whole thing. Bro, I've been playing bro, him close. Yeah. Bro is handling this shit really well. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I know uh, that's not what Josh wanted to hear on his birthday. <laughs> you don't want to. Josh be tired of all this shit. I, every time, I already know. Well, if, if, if it's any consolation, Josh, you were right. It's not. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's not all right. It's not all right. I mean, the fact that it's been over a year and a half of this bullshit where, like, I have worn all of this stress and, like, I've, yeah. had, to, I've had to weigh all of this shit that was inevitably going to happen. And it has happened. This isn't the first time. And mm. it's like the fact that this, you know, this is a different severity and it hits a little bit different. But, like, this type of shit has been happening and it's been an issue to gloss over it and pretend that like now we need to be strong as a unit now we need to be protecting one another where's that energy been for the last you know year and a half like i i'm so tired of it like what else can i do about it well at what point does does there have to be a change is the question when are there going to be consequences for people's actions? Bingo. It's a good question. Yeah, I bet you if niggas get the threat of, of being fired, niggas are minding their business around this motherfucker. Guarantee you. I just want to talk about hip hop shit and tell funny stories and things like that. I don't really care about all this other shit personally. Facts. I think that's why most of the people came here. Like that's, literally. That's True. why the audience came here and that's what they wanted to hear about. That's why the host came here. That's what they wanted to do. That's like this is a common ground that everyone wants to get back to. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's make it happen, Captain. Re so, read the next one. Come on. This is right. a perfect one for you, Lush. All right, Shannon Sharp gets in back and forth with Memphis Grizzlies basketball team. A bizarre scene played out midway through the Memphis Grizzlies at Los Angeles Lakers game on Friday night when Shannon Sharp got into a courtside shouting match with Grizzlies players T. Morant and T. Morant, the father of Memphis star 
John Morant. Security at the refer and the referees eventually broke up the scuffle and Sharp returned to his seat after halftime. It all started after Sharp said he told Grizzlies forward Dillian Brooks that he was too small to guard Lakers star LeBron James. Suddenly, Morant's father got involved and Sharp had to be separated from angry Grizzlies players. Dylan. Dylan. Dylan, yeah. Leave Bro, Shannon Sharp alone, man. Dillion. <laughs> Shannon Sharp gonna kick some ass. Yeah, that nigga big as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But I always say butt fast niggas don't mean they don't mean you got hands. A lot of buff niggas can't fight. They just strong. If you catch you a one, you probably sleep. But a lot of buff <laughs> niggas can't fight, bro. They be getting buff to intimidate niggas and shit. I don't know. Shannon, hey, you got to You got to He look ready. He I got saying, that. He got that. I'm not saying that's man, him. Man, look at Cub. I'm not saying that's, that's him. Grown, but that nigga's true. huge. To play to play tight end at the at the level he did for all those years, you got to be fucking scrappy. Yeah, you nah, gotta that be. nigga's huge. He I ain't mix. saying him. I'm, I'm just saying like you know yo yo average buff ass nigga don't got to squabble, but he look like he ready. I ain't gonna cap. It's funny because like you're supposed to be able to talk a little bit of shit from the side, but like man, look at that nigga. He ready, bro. There's levels. Hey, that hey man, did you see a nigga after the game? I ain't gonna lie. Ain't no nigga who who wear wife beaters and jeans with the wife beater tucked in finna wood me. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. It's not happening. Did y'all see the after shit when the nigga Dylan was talking? But I know I see it. That nigga had a wife, man. Can we find that the after interview yeah. with uh with uh Dylan with when he was talking about the Shannon uh, Sharp situation, but a nigga had a wife beater on, tucked in with the nigga with the jeans, nigga looking crazy as fuck. Oh, that's the one, boy. <laughs> ain't no way. Nah. Look at this nigga. Nah. Ain't no way he was whooping Shannon. There's no way in hell. Mm. Boy, look at your wife. Your wife beater is tucked in your jeans. With the belt. With the belt. That nigga look like he finna nigga rouse some sheep or some cows or something, nigga. It's no way in hell he was whooping Shannon's ass. Look at his fit. That's damn near some Westbrook energy. Boy, you look real. crazy. Nah, Westbrook be putting shit together, even though he be looking crazy as fuck. That, nigga, you have a wife beater on with the Wranglers, nigga. With the wife beater tucked like in the like Wranglers. Like a rhymes, You look cow, crazy boy. as fuck. Ain't no fucking way. There was no way he was putting his hands on Shannon. Boy, he's crazy. Ain't no fucking way. His, yeah, fit, just, like, his fit killed him. He was going to get sent to the gulag. I'm sorry. He was getting Thanks. his ass beat. His outfit towed it off. Is, is, is there a limit if you're, you know, sitting, especially courtside at games, is there a limit for how much you could roast motherfuckers without being held accountable? Roast the fuck you want to do. Roasting, no. In, but Suss is right. Technically, there is. Yeah. You can get thrown out for harassing players. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you don't get on the court, I think everything yeah. should be... Get on your GDR shit. Unless you're saying shit about athletes, kids, it or wives. It also depends yeah. on Which the type like of the only... person you are. Like, if you're yeah. Spike Lee, they let you get away with certain shit. But if you're just some random nigga who paid for expensive they're not. Seats, they're not kicking shit. Jack Nicholson out if he exactly. do some shit like that. But it's he, a certain type they also of, don't do that shit. No. They also know how to act. You right. know what I mean? Spike Lee be acting crazy as fuck. Yeah, he be turning like up a little bit, but not to that extent. Like, And I'm wondering, from, from what it says, like it don't sound like Shannon was saying anything that crazy. To warrant this and I much. And just said you can't guard him, and then he said, fuck you. You should never come out on the court as a pedestrian. Coming on the court, I mean, you can, that's. The players can say whatever they want to you. You can say whatever they want you want to them. That's the agreement, I think, yeah. when you sit courtside is. You're right. You might get roasted back. Yeah. Nigga, run on that court. Hey, but them niggas look like mm -hmm. that was, that was. They got security there for you a reason. You see, uh, uh, what's his name, Steven Adams? Yes. That nigga's... He's so massive. That's big, someone that I wouldn't fuck bro, with, Bro, no. that nigga's huge. And they say he's one of the strongest niggas in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like, if you watch... If, if you um, listen to some stories of people who have to guard that nigga, they'll all tell you that that, that that nigga's huge. And, like, he's one of the strongest niggas in the NBA. Like, that fool look like Aquaman. Literally. He do. Everybody call him that. And that one nigga in the WWE. The, that one nigga from wrestling. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Some Reigns. Yep, yep. Ring uh, Reigns yeah, shit yeah. like that. I don't know. It's Roman Reigns. Roman, Roman Reigns. Reigns. There yeah. you go. Yeah, that nigga, he was on that shit. Now, him and, uh, and, Shannon. and Shannon really would have been the fade because he was the one who was really on it. The full guy dumbass that reach on Shannon. 6'11", 250. 250 he, he really seven feet. Probably like 260. That's crazy. It's not that serious for fools to be walking on court doing all that extra it's shit. Not. Come on. Especially Shannon Sharp. You're an athlete. You a know lot that. of shit ain't serious, it is, though, because think about basketball. You don't do that in any other sport. Baseball, football, hockey. There's no other sport where you can go onto the same court as the players right. and 
and get right up on them. Exactly. Then they're getting their ear and say some crazy. No shit. other sport would tolerate it. Anyone nah. comes on the field, they're out of there. Right. Basketball's it's a different it's so sport. So close and mm-hmm. it's so. But basketball players, they gotta be a. They, they have to have a different level of mental strength because it's literally crazy ass diehards. If you ain't noticed, basketball has some of the most diehard fans. Basketball and football, damn near every American sport. I think yeah. football's the craziest. They have crazy yeah. ass yeah. fans. I don't but know. It's no, by the numbers, bro. it's football. Football is by yeah, far. Facts. You don't yeah. think you don't think soccer got crazier fans around yeah, the yeah, world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. even yeah. close. It's, it's not even close in America. Yeah. 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 Football's like, like maybe America the football closest thing in terms of soccer worldwide. That's popular. Yeah, my, my personal opinion, I think football is a little bigger because I think more white people like it than basketball because more 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 white stars are in football. More all, white people, all the quarterbacks, man, are, them, them are, Dodger are, fans the is crazy too. The quarterbacks, and that's, that's I don't know. It's I know. You haven't met a lot of like Midwestern Ooh. white dudes who this love is, like tall. I know. White, I know. But vanilla dudes, you, you got to look them at basketball. It. Like all. All of the stars in the NBA are all black. Like the growing up kids that are white. Not they no can't, more. Now they're Europeans. Nah, you like, got, you got the majority of like, the NFL. You got Luca. You got all handful. type of niggas. You could count on your yeah, hand. Yes, a handful. Of those you could count on your hand. For That's sure, different. for sure. But the now, outside of quarterbacks, though, the majority of the positions in the NFL are black. Facts. I'm yeah. just saying. I was saying quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? The quarterbacks, like, which nigga, is when the you, face of the, the face. team and you everything. You feel me? Yeah. When you growing up, bro, you a little white boy, you can't look at basketball and see nobody that look like you besides five people, and they not even from America, nigga. Yeah. But them other ones, and then you got your dad telling you, yeah, that's an all American thoroughbred. <laughs> he, you Real feel shit. me? You got that shit in your head, like, mm-hmm. nigga. They grow up to want to be football players. You feel me? So they they got the more the majority over there. You know what I'm saying? But basketball, you feel me? That's us. So that's just my opinion. I might be wrong. No, you, you you're me? not. And that's I think my opinion. The reason you're right beyond that is because there's literally way more fans of football. Period. So of course there's more white fans. It's not like Facts. although there's a. I mean the NBA. You look at you look at the the. The crowd, there's a lot of white folks it's in them. Majority, the fans I ain't saying of the game are majority not. white. Yeah. I ain't mm-hmm. saying it's not at all. It's yeah. most definitely is. You feel me? Most definitely. But I just think um It's also regional too. I feel like you being out here, like too. basketball Facts. definitely, I think dominates here. Dominates football. Hundred yeah. percent. But the rest of America, like well, I think it's, it's the different. other way around for yeah, some places. places. To be hockey, fair, we didn't get a team. Very, very small. Yes, we didn't get a team like until twenty sixteen out here. Yeah, so it's you football. guys had a team though, and, and I didn't grow up yeah, watching lost football it. either. Yeah, so it's different. I grew up watching basketball. It's honestly being out here for five years. People in LA still don't talk about football, and you guys got two teams. Hmm. If you know what's nah, great, there's, there's some real Rams fans out the here. There are, but it doesn't so take huge. over the yeah, conversation. Yeah. No, I don't. So think about much your dad. Even the Lakers, really, bro, the Lakers have been kind of terrible for the last couple of years. We still Lakers fans for life. People will still still the team in LA aren't talking sports until there's a team in a championship. It's because we're so That's used true. to winning. We've been fucking winning since 1964. You feel me? So mm-hmm. when when we're we're so used to Lakers and trophies and shit that when it's no trophies, we just act like nothing well, even going on. L A's L A is a basketball city. It it, it always yeah. has been from the high school teams to. Nigga, I the remember fact we got UCLA. The I most. remember the three P. Nigga, I'm like, okay, every year we about to go to a fucking Man, parade. We thought you feel me when yeah. then nigga when Kobe was on his last great years. Mm-hmm. We was like, oh, I went to shit. one of uh, Kobe's back last back, games. Nigga, when we got Paul, nigga, Paul, nigga, Ron Artest. That's when we was doing our thing. In nigga. my lifetime, there's been three Lakers dynasties. Mm. You feel me? Like, there's been one LA, two LA Super Bowls in my lifetime, and fucking that's what it is. And several dynasties from the Lakers. So that should tell you everything you need to know. Boston did it in like ten years. Man, yeah. fuck Boston, bro. Yeah, fuck Boston. Fuck out of here with fuck that shit. Dude, we fuck went on Boston. like a 10, 11 year span where it was like I can Wait, exactly are, relate to that. Between isn't Boston tired the Lakers for the most championship, or is the Lakers no, up one? Uh, Celtics are up one, <sighs> or they're tied. But oh no, the look Celtics it up real are quick. up one. Look it up real quick. Yeah, but I think I thought, I thought all the Celtics ones Celtics are when like the NBA was all white in the 1910s. Yeah, yeah, you had like Larry. You feel me? You had Larry Bird. Bird. Yes, it was that was your hero. I'm saying, no, I'm no, saying way before years then. Before Larry Bird. I'm saying, oh, yeah, 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 it was all white. That, that's when, when like, the basketball was pigskin. When fools used to fucking shoot free throws from between their legs and shit. That's when the Celtics were when the shorts were small as a motherfucker. When black people weren't allowed in the NBA. Facts. No, no black people and niggas was shooting three two pointers like. This. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Fuck they're tied with seventeen. So yeah, okay. okay. See, I was right. And but if eight you don't... of those were from that era, that means Sus talking. Who about, you think? Man. Who you think are gonna win one? The next, before? the Celtics. You think the Celt- so? They're the most, they're the most dominant team in the East right now. Mm. Celtics are actually pretty scary. I can't even lie to you. And the Lakers are, good, are not gonna make them. the playoffs. So they are good, but you... fuck them. And we're not gonna win, but fuck them. 
I'm still with my team. But that's, that's fair. I res- at least respect that. You feel me? Like, I ain't delusional about the Lakers. I know we ain't good, nigga. It's still something. I mean, when you add all California. We have great players, one. but them niggas yeah, just. Yeah, but you guys aren't even like we got Golden, Golden State, State fans. Them niggas no, are like feathers. No, no. Y'all hate the, you know, how about the Niners? Bang, bang, Niners game. Actually, none of you guys are football fans. Yeah, I'm not a football fan. But no, I'm a football fan, but it's un- I'm football fan. unfortunately. I'm a nigga who roots for any California team if the Lakers is losing. I'm LA so everything. I'm going to go it's- for Golden State next if the Lakers if, if the Lakers not in it. And then if if there's no California teams, then, then I'm going to go West Coast. The I'm LA, I'm I'm LA, LA everything the, except the Clippers. The two like teams that. I push the line for the hardest, always have, always will be, is the Oakland Ra- or I guess the motherfucking Las Vegas Raiders. And the L.A. Dodgers. Lost Oakland. You feel me? Like, the, the, yeah. L.A. Dodgers. Las Vegas. Los Vegas. Los, 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 Vegas. Los Vegas Raiders. You feel me? The Los Oakland Raiders. But Go Eagles. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I ain't a football fan. Y'all, no, I know. But speaking you, of you football. A Patri- you speaking a Patriots of football. fan. I know, hey. but I put a future in at the beginning of the season on the Eagles. and Oh, you about to cash ooh. out. If they win. You about to cash out. Speaking like, of football. Out. Entire Buffalo Bills team gifted three chains in honor of DeMar Hamlin. You know what? That's cool and all, but did you hear the even crazier thing about the uh, the Bills is that the NFL has to refund, was it 50,000 people? Because they pre-sold tickets to the next game. They thought Cincinnati that. was going to lose. So they got to cash out all that bread back. That's crazy. Mm. Why would they jump That's in a gun like that? Why would they standard, do that? Though. That's crazy. Yeah, they you know do that. that. I, they always do that. Yeah, you can buy tickets in advance, and then the team has to refund you, or you're. It goes to season ticket holders first, but so you're either allowed to use that money for next year's season tickets, or you get cashed out. That's fuck? gonna cost them significant, significantly more like than 50, them little ass fucking medallions yeah. are. Them fifty thousand, uh, fifty thousand yeah. tickets or something. Them like bitches probably gold plated. Them motherfuckers. That shit look like earrings, fool. What the fuck? Two fifty. But what's cr- oh, I guess that was their share of the tickets because the game wouldn't have been in Buffalo. Like it's gonna be in Miami, games. right? Yeah, the game. Yeah. No, uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Because it's a neutral third party site because of the whole cheat, them not playing a full season because of the DeMar Hamlin thing. So mm. they sold like their half of tickets that wouldn't have even. Damn. They got to pay all that back. Yeah, that's but crazy. that's kind of standard. I bet you there's Dallas fans that ha- are buying. You know, getting their money back today too. Mm. There's still, it still seems like the Bills got some mismanagement going on, and like, oh, they are not Super Bowl ready. Did you see that? Like, Stefan Diggs looked like he was like ready to quit on Josh Allen on the sidelines. I guess there were reports after that he pretty much like got dressed and left and didn't even <laughs> want to be part of like any of the post game. Had to be brought back. Boom! As soon as he could, was out of there. It's not a good sign. Yeah, that's not a good look. Nah, at all. Buffalo in January in the snow. You expect them to win that type of playoff game. And the cold thing is, this was at their home. Too. I want to say with Demar Hamlin there and getting three pendants. This was it's so funny because this is their and best. Three this pendants. is their best season. <laughs> this is their best season since the Jim Kelly era. Statistically, Th- definitely. Yeah. This and this is Bruce wise. Smith, Jim Kelly, and this is the best Cowboys season since they played the fucking Bills in the Super Bowl, and they both got got the fuck up out of here. You feel me? Like crazy. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, the Bills are such a snake bitten organization where like they can never catch a break. So another season, gonna have to wait till next year. Sorry, Benny the Butcher. Mm, crazy. Go Bengals. Man, you Ooh. be rooting for all these op ass squads, bro. I swear to God. Dude, you just if you don't think Eagles. Joe Bur- if you don't think Joe Burrow's fun to watch. No, no, the, the Bengals are fun and to that's watch. Yeah. Like the deep ball and all those threats and everything. That's a fun game to watch. So I like the Bengals and I like the Eagles because I got money on it. That's what you want to win everything, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my pick. <sighs> I feel that. Man, Raider Nation, fuck all these squads. Get in the playoffs. Yeah, losing with three pennants is crazy. I'd be hot. That's how you know I'm loyal. This is a good one. Electrically charged rock found in the Congo. Vibranium. It's real. Dude, this sounded like the plot of a Marvel. Like Literally. For sure. A Marvel movie. Literally. Everybody was in the comments talking about, so Thor was real, but he was black. Everybody in the comments saying crazy. Adamantium. Like that. Nah, that's wild, bro. That's how this video is wild. That shit's electric. Yeah, shit's crazy. I'm telling you, Africa, bro, the greatest place on the planet. Limitless resources and minerals and things Man. like that. Nigga, the source. See what of Andrew all Schultz humanity. said? How they made the pyramids? Wow. The source of humanity, nigga. These fools just got wire on deck. Man, like what? what? <laughs> how this fool just—that's crazy. How this fool That's just come crazy. with the wire like that? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's crazy as hell. But this one was fucking me Th- up. I mean, that's obviously. I didn't even see this one. That's how they yeah, discovered yeah. it this right was there. fucking me up. What nah. the fuck? I was like, whoa. Are what these the two fuck? of the same type of rocks? Like, I'm yeah, going sure. at it? Yeah. That's crazy, nigga. Electronically trying. Look, now just imagine in ancient times, right? If a nigga wields those into a weapon, now it's just over. imagine being on the other side and the stories that you would tell of how you got attacked with electrically charged swords. That's like real life. You feel me? Thunder now, from the gods. Not exactly. This is exactly how myths start. Cause ain't no way, nigga. I'll go home and tell that story. Like nigga, go tell my wife and kids. Like bro, like that nigga niggas, Catherine. Niggas pulled up with electric swords. Nigga, it was lightning from the swords. He stabbed my man. Nigga, his skin starts sizzling. Nigga, that was some god shit. We need to pray right now. Matter of fact, we gotta lead this village. Burn it. Burn it all, nigga. We need to go pray. Like, just imagine the stories that that would cause. That, that, no, that's this like, one is crazy. That's, that's, that's real life Excalibur I'm shit, telling right? You, bro, this some shit like, nigga, they are writing in history books and niggas that think you lying, you go back. If you don't, mm-hmm. this where you need some footage and niggas that think you lying, like, ain't no way a nigga had the sword and bro, they bro, electrocuted you. Peep Game says, uh, as per reports, a gram of these charged rocks, which some claim to be vibranium, can light a bulb for more than three days, 72 That's hours. Wow. wow. While a kilo of it can be used to power a two-bedroom house for two months. What the fuck? Now, watch white people come in and all them black people just start disappearing. They already yep. on the way. They watch. on the way. They're already the way. on the way. I was going to say, they're already over there. They, yeah. just have, they're they're not, there. they don't have to go too far. That part. Yeah. They're there. The R. R. Pizza Child is Shiri. Get ready. Man, That's crazy. Hey, everybody was like, Wakanda's real. They don't. You know what's crazy is like the, the the DWP don't want shit like that to be out there. Hell no. You feel Hell me no. at all? Hell no. Nobody. N- n- none of the important general electric all that shit. None of the one percent want no shit like that to be discovered. But I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm sure that shit like that have been discovered in ancient times. There's probably used it already. Until some... they own it and have the stockpile under control and then can control it, they have zero interest in this thing being mm. a success. They're going to try. They're going to try. UFO-shaped clouds try. in Turkey. i seen that shit. It looked Click crazy. on it. I don't look like a vagina. Yeah, you're right. It do it like a... Yeah. You ain't see that shit? Yeah, shit that like shit a Cinnabon. i seen that shit. Is that your private plane when you're going to get your hair fixed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, nigga, we that got you. Crazy. I know Seth's going to go out there too, right? I'm definitely going. I'm going to get my shit. I'm out. going this year for the show. I'm for sure going. Getting that Istanbul. Come on, Lush. Yeah, that shit look get crazy. Get that Istanbul. Look at you. That shit look crazy. That's what I'm not doing. It's just That's not even that I'm bad. Not doing. I want my hairline down a little bit more. I, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? That shit do look like a. Have you, you had like a big forehead that? your whole life though? Yeah. So what? You I'm gonna, gonna, say, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you baby picture. You can see. All right. That shit look like a red. My shit been fucked up. I want to look like Akon. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, you don't. No, you don't. Nah. That fool got a soccer field on <laughs> his head. Like Dude, do you remember the kid in Jumanji? <laughs> yeah. Like turf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when they got Alan Parrish. Yeah, 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 not him. But when the little kid becomes like part monkey and everything, he starts getting growing hair oh, yeah. like, all over his face. That's gonna be you. Just hair every. Have you seen those like kids that have that? Sh- mm-hmm. I've seen some grown men with that shit too. I, I remember when those documentaries was coming out in like the That's mid right mid two thousand. Mm-hmm. Hey, but mm-hmm. I don't know what that shit is. They saying that it's strong winds and water vapor, man. Whatever. Check your uh, your, your email, John. Well, you look exactly the same. I don't believe I don't know. it. That's some that's some UFO shit. I don't believe it. Strong winds my ass, nigga. Hell no, that's some shit. Well, that's like, some shit. what's a what's a UFO? Unidentified flying object. That can mean, like... That, the, the, that the imp- varies. Yeah, exactly. It the implication doesn't necessarily mean it has to be something extraterrestrial. See, look at this. Come on, man. He said my shit been with my My shit life. the same. Yeah, it really hasn't gone back at all. It hasn't. It's the same. He just don't like it. <sighs> a little bit. But I'm saying for the most part, like, nigga, I just noticed my fucking son looks just like me now. Just I was thinking picture. that looking at this. Like, stuff. that's crazy. My boy had the ill sweater vest on, though. Don't even play. Come on, Here man. We know you like sweater vests. That wasn't even, that was a, <laughs> that was a regular vest. That wasn't no sweater. <laughs> that was a motherfucking vest. Shouts to Colossal Dread. Come on, man. 
Come on, man. My shit been like that. My big ass that's ears. That's a sweater vest. Hey, that shit looks that the same. That is a motherfucking me. sweater vest. A motherfucking that's that's Lush vest. Yeah, not I, would wear, I, would, I would wear that shit right now. I ain't even gonna lie. You probably man. would. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you. That shit clean. Nigga, I want to see a baby picture of you. I got you. Please send me a picture right now. 14 I, and 42. I, I got you. Right now. We don't want to see it. <laughs> Why you giving me extra? Why are you giving me an extra year? I'm 41. There's some My you bad, you look 12 and 41 at the same time. Hold on, hold on. Speaking of showing off baby pictures. Oh, shit. Dot, dot, Uh-oh. dot. Kylie Jenner shares pictures of her and Ooh, Travis's Kylie Jenner. Is this the first Kylie time? Kylie Jenner. Yeah, first time. When was the baby born? Like three A months ago? A while ago, Bro, ago right? people kids grow like, 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 like fucking two babies. Famous people kids just grow so fast. That shit is be, it's weird. Or maybe just because we don't see them. Check your, um, your email, like Josh. Fast. Yeah, share the baby's name. That's a little ass kid picture. right Send there. Send it to Josh. Now, I'm not, that's not a baby picture, but that's a kid. I oh, found, I found one baby. of you. Send it, hey, send it, Josh. I feel like no, they check, plotted check to all have little black babies. For sure. Like that was like the goal. I found this is this is this is a, a young one of Lush. I just texted you. This is Lush as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb as hell. Was this school picture day? <laughs> Like this pickable meat you got dropped off in the low box. <laughs> oh my god! Hold on. Hey, hey, sit it, sit it, classic. I that was you, pretty good. I let you give me get one back. Send one, send one to me. Fuck, baby AD. I had to do it. Oh my god, you niggas are retarded. Go ahead, send a baby AD. I, Go I, ahead. Hold on, I found baby suspect too. <laughs> send it did. in. Send it in. I found baby suspect. I <laughs> bet you did. No Reddit jokes. No Reddit jokes. <laughs> That's all he do is use Reddit jokes. Man, you still sad about that. That's crazy. I'm just saying. That's, <laughs> that's, boy, still I'm sad. not sad about that. That's just all you do. He is still, just Reddit jokes. He's still sad, bro. That's just insane. Hold on. That's hold funny. On. Don't this nigga look like a PE teacher? <laughs> Fuck out of here. This hold is on. hilarious. All right, I found baby suspect. I'm going to find baby AD next. That's cute. I got baby John. coming. He know coming. I'm on him, so he had to pick me first because he know I'm finna. He know I'm on his head. <laughs> pause. Like, pause. Yo, pause. He know I'm on his head, nigga. Pause. No cap. He funny as fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he look this, this nigga less dressed like he finna jerk. No cap. Not a single chuckle. Come on now. Not a single chuckle was heard. Hey, I wouldn't need none, nigga. I'm still on you. No cap. <laughs> Not a single <laughs> chuckle was no heard. No cap, nigga. He's still he's still sad about the Earl sweatshirt, too. That's crazy. You and your that one was jerks, a good one. bro. Earl tank you top. All, the Earl sweatshirt all, was a good one. All your one. jokes is like 32 and up, bro. They're dry as fuck. All right, Josh. Earl sweatshirt's all like your, your jokes age. Is dry hey, as fuck, sir, bro. I just found baby Josh, too. The I future jokes would never be funny. This baby Josh. I was going to use this for you. <laughs> I was literally going to look show. this one up for you. So that's oh, baby Josh. I was, I was literally grabbing this one for you. Not that mama. <laughs> oh, that's baby Josh. You ain't gonna, Not that mama. I was looking for this one for you for sure. You ain't going to use the one that I sent you, Josh? I got you. AD keeps jumping the line. I'm done now. I got mine off. No, I got to get suspect too. Suspect, you better look, look up for one. <laughs> I don't need to look up pictures for niggas. Oh, I got a suspect right now, kid. Watch this. Uh, you for sure gonna say this is the old one. Watch this. That's really baby me. That ain't even you. That's really young me. I was like six or seven right there. Bro, that looks nothing like you. <laughs> what you mean? Man, nigga, that's called nigga drugs. 
That's called <laughs> drugs. That bro. nigga look like a zombie. <laughs> bro, he, you are <laughs> fuck. You are literally like a zombie. <laughs> we <laughs> are called drugs. We are literally. There, there goes his face right there. He ice you good. That's called drugs. We are, we are, we are, we are literally. This nigga is a one outfit away from a homeless. Man. We are literally no. witnessing <laughs> your deterioration before our hey, eyes. Hey, that, that was a good one. We are we literally. We just saw your deterioration. We are witnessing. <laughs> you look like we, a healthy we, young man. We you are look like a zombie right we now. We are nigga. literally no witnessing. Oh, look like he dead. We are drugs. We are witnessing your demise before our very eyes. All right. <laughs> That's why you look like somebody that, uncle and somebody nephew. That, there look, you look go. Look at your outfit. You there look goes, like an uncle and a nephew. That, that nigga said it's drugs. <laughs> there goes sus right there. All right, all right, pull this one up. I got a sus bag. Oh, shit. Hey, no, that, uh, hey. That, he got you on that oh one. I ain't gonna lie. You my nigga. I love you, Liz, but goddamn. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this almighty suspect. Oh, Did it come through? Shit. Nah, not yet. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, let me find AD, though. Find me, please. <laughs> you better get Suspect back. Fuck, we didn't, did. We, that nigga just torched we, your ass. We, we glanced over that shit. It we wasn't funny. Over, we, glanced, <laughs> we glanced over it. We seen it. It wasn't funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, Arthur wasn't funny, guys. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur was funny. funny. Arthur was funny. You're dry, my nigga. Arthur was your funny. Your joke's dry as hell. Arthur, the Arthur wasn't Arthur, it. No, Arthur, it wasn't it, bro. Arthur, oh, no. Arthur, Arthur for that sure was, was dry. It. Hey, that <laughs> was... <laughs> that was dry. You can't fuck. talk about drugs <laughs> with this <laughs> right here, fool. You bro, cannot. Look at your teeth. Dog, look at, Smile. Holler at me in three Smile. years, bro. Holler at Smile. me. Smile. Holler at me in three years. Smile. Holler at me in nigga, three I years. Look great. You are, nigga, is that, was that even you? I don't know. Holler at <laughs> like he's on I was the fucking line. six. Hey, you? I was John, six. There you go. If I pull up a picture of me at six, you're going to be like, yeah, that's suspect. Bro, you you look like a zombie. Like, that's a whole different person. Like, nigga, you're not even Bro, alive. you haven't slept for a that's week. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> you hey, have, this hey, your old, eyes are sick. This is old hair shit. They're going to be suspects. Yeah. Nigga, hey, yeah, that's way too old. That's old. I know you don't know what that I is. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> that's nah. from the Wayne's Brothers, right? That's Wayne here, yeah. I yo. don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> that, that damn near, I don't know. Yeah, nah. Hey, I like that. I don't know. That's old head shit. That's I better than Arthur. Old head shit. No, it's not better than Arthur. Yeah, that's but, some old shit. Hey, y'all find, what, y'all find what, some shit for me. I'm trying to think of like a character for you. <laughs> I got an easy one for you. I'll give you a lot. Hmm. No, I ain't getting no loud. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you afterwards. Easy. <laughs> Josh already got the best one. The dinosaurs one hit hard. Like, even though that's baby Josh, that's really. Baby. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Josh one to clown myself. I'm gonna text you, Josh. Hold on. Let's look like he sell weed to middle schoolers after school. You definitely look like you've been Bro, hanging you, outside you of school selling pull, weed. You literally pull up to middle school outfit, to holler at bitches, fool. You look like you, you sell be weed. Ho- you, be <laughs> so to, you be trying to get pussy in middle outfit. schools, bro. Look at you, be re- you be recruiting. <laughs> with the dog you be collar, recruiting. not talking about what niggas be trying to do with You be pussy. recruiting <laughs> at middle here. school, bro. I love a nigga wearing a dog you collar, be not talking about anything with bitches. You be recruiting at middle schools, bro. No, you not. And they be roasting you. There's No, you not. There's yeah, literally yeah, how many times did you tell your old laughing at how many times did you tell literally, to press the shot? There's literally Fuck 50 out of here. There's it's literally like 15 year olds yeah, laughing at your <laughs> hairline. Oh That's cute. <laughs> I bet they are, nigga. There's 15 year olds <laughs> laughing at your hairline when they you go to get pussy I bet they are. at middle school. Here you go with Reddit jokes. That's crazy. You How's that a Reddit joke? You're using But you just use Reddit jokes. But you just you just use Reddit jokes though. Weird, bro. You're too old yeah, to be pulling out Reddit but you jokes, but you're like Reddit 52 joke yourself. and a half. You just used you're the Reddit like, joke I've yourself. I've never used the Reddit joke. You just I've never did. used one. I don't even look in it. I've never used the Reddit joke, okay. y'all. I've okay. never used the Reddit joke. Okay. Ever. Okay. You, you just put another Reddit joke out your ass. I want to get if, crazy. If one you of say those so. big <laughs> trackers that say days since an incident. That's 
<laughs> because I, I feel like know, I, I feel like I erased it at the beginning of this episode, and now I'm gonna would have yeah, to. Yeah, we just it talk again. about camaraderie. Now we shoot done each other. Oh no, this is uh, no, no, it's fun. No, it's all fun. This, no. this, this is all fun. It's all this, fun. This is fine. I know suspect got to get his get back after you the devastating blow he received Bro, on Friday. No, there's no, <laughs> no, you can't call it's it fine. Just, just keep when talking. Just keep going. Devastating blow. You open devastating up the fool. app and go look at jokes in the red comments. Wait, because <laughs> they're ready. Of, of comments. Of course, it's thousands of comments because they made the joke. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nigga, they made the joke. What it's the fuck? Good. I, I they will, made the joke. Of I will course, donate, they think it's hilarious. I will donate, You've seen it in the Reddit. I will right, donate part teacher. of my. Nigga, you look like a PE I will, teacher. I will donate look part of my outfit. monthly salary for the you therapy bill. Chance, you're like 40 this is crazy. All good. No, no, no. I got you yes. on a therapy bill. Get the fuck bill. out of here. You look crazy as fuck. You just used another <laughs> Reddit joke. You gotta stop. Okay. You look crazy uh, as fuck, nigga. Okay. Uh, you look crazy as fuck. Stop dyeing your beard with your all that. If you say you so. look crazy as fuck. This nigga dye his shit blind. Lush. Your teeth is crazy. Your wife, please. That's like that's dry. <laughs> he used the Reddit joke. You gotta stop, bro. bro you like, you and then he used another Reddit joke. He said, "Yeah, there's 15 year olds laughing bro, at you your hairline. You 19 and bolder than me. You 19 and bolder than me. That's a Reddit joke. That's a Reddit joke. Another Reddit joke. Another one. Like stop. Doing that, bro. That, that'll never be funny. Get uh, your own jokes, insane. gang. People like to zero. Wait, this I'm ain't sure. an incident. People, this like ain't an people like that. Fuck out of here. You sound the, crazy the, as the, fuck. Bro. The, loud, the louder, the louder you are, the more right you are. So I bet. go ahead. Look, look just because I'm passionate about you using Reddit jokes, don't use that like, oh, he's angry and he's loud now. Niggas get loud when they shoot. That's your you're deflecting, like, oh look, he's hey, mad. That's Stop crazy when deflecting. we was talking in the group chat yeah, and I said he was acting irregular. I, I didn't deflect I'm just on that. Shooting. That's deflecting. Look, the louder you get, stop <laughs> deflecting. You use Reddit jokes. Get your own jokes okay. in. You'll get some uh, chuckles. All right. All You'll right. get some chuckles. Right, give us an original joke yeah, right now. original one. Come on. I don't have any uh, exactly. like jokes exactly. at the moment. We don't fucking have none. Stop abusing the Reddit, nigga. Get your uh, own jokes, bro. Dry ass old man. man. Shut you your 16 and 42. Shut your you dry gecko, ass gecko old man. looking ass. Fuck out of here. Looking like the gecko nigga, look gecko. Look at your outfit. You look crazy as fuck you, out here. Bro. Nigga, you stuck in 2012 with you them got, dry got, ass <laughs> player from the Himalaya <laughs> phrases. You bro, look crazy. Bro, with, you got a nose ring. You like 50. Wait, you, I got a nose ring. You niggas too yes. old for that I shit. You niggas too old for that shit. Hold he on, boy. Like you're your your elder. You're 30. He's 42. Man, miss me with your I cubic hope, zirconian chain. You're a grandpa with a nose ring. That's you crazy. Got, you got a cubic Paul zirconian Paul. chain. Papa, take that oh. nose ring out your shit. Papa, take that nose ring out your shit. Listen here. Papa. Your Hold hairline's on. 50. Take that nose ring out your shit. hairline's 50. You're saying 50. the same joke about a your hairline. hairline. I'm grilling your shit from foot, your... nigga. From, the, from your toes to your head, I just grilled your shit. You keep using hairline jokes. Pop off. Oh, Take the nose ring out. You look crazy as fuck. You too bro, old for that shit. Bro, you, you literally That's like... crazy. I never noticed that he's like 50 with a nose ring. <laughs> bro, you're wearing a sweatsuit. That's crazy as you're fuck. You're wearing a sweatsuit from That's the hood crazy. liquor store, bro. That's crazy. You're wearing, you're wearing a hood liquor That's store crazy. sweatsuit. You're, you're 60 and a half. Ones. You're 60 Cubic and a half Dakota with a nose chain. ring. That's crazy. Get the fuck out Somebody of here. Get their papa. Uh, That's crazy. Wait, 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 radio. Let me let's reel That's this back crazy. in. Let's reel this back Get in. Get the fuck out of here. I never uh, noticed that. Go, go, go hey, to Turkey. Oh, and all three Rito has offered an update on his situation following his release from jail last week. While technically out of jail, <laughs> Greedo confirmed that he is living in a halfway house where he may be until the summer. He told followers in a social media post that he is granted just one phone call a week and plans to spend his time recording the wealth of new material with plans for multiple projects in the works. Yes, I am free from prison, but I'm still not completely out. <laughs> Greedo wrote on January 22nd. For anyone can be you dress good. Okay, we're like, trying. Do you think you dress good? We're trying to talk about somewhat of a serious good? topic. Do you, you think can't you dress through the topic? Cool? You can't even get through the topic. We can't use any of this. Dog. What? Oh, oh, what is this? No, oh, what is this? I couldn't even listen. What is this right <laughs> here, bro? <laughs> what is this? Exactly. Bro, Can we not oh, transition you started off of this? Wait, when you wait, take the nose ring off, come back. Wait a You're too old. Bro, let's You're read. finna die. Let's You're like a mummy with not a nose the, ring. Not the hood You're a mummy like with a nose ring. Not the hood You're an sure. old ass mummy with a nose ring. You're gonna look ring. older than me crazy. in six months. You have on chucks and a nose ring. The drugs are literally Are you 12 or 42? deteriorating your insides. Are you 14 or 42? You haven't slept in a week. You have chucks and a nose ring on. You haven't slept in a week. 
Yeah, left yeah, in a Chuck's week. In the nose <laughs> You're going to open it. Is he working in our 42? Is he working in our 42? Oh, my God. Is he working in our 42? Is he working in our 42? Oh, my God. You're going to have shakes. Oh, my God. You have one Chuck's in the nose ring. You need three Percocets to get out of bed. All right, all right, all right. You need three Percocets to get out of bed. I wish I could have released a lot more music while I was away. You're a midlife crisis. Wait, 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 the this hairline the of the midlife crisis. <laughs> you you got a midlife like hairline. This is a midlife crisis. This is amazing. You have on Chuck. I love your shoes. Bro, what are those? Like, Paul, Paul. Do you see the you layers around your eyes? Ring. If you, I'm so fucked up about it. How old are you? Are you 14 I've had a nose ring since I was younger than you. I bet. What's and wrong with that? you're going to fall over and die and you still have it. It's crazy. Bro, you're going to fall <laughs> over and <laughs> die if you don't get off them drugs. <laughs> what the fuck? Let, let's, compare let's compare kidneys. Let's compare. Let's compare kidneys right now. Let's compare teeth. Let's compare livers. Let's compare teeth. Smile. Let's compare livers. Let's compare teeth. <laughs> let's compare teeth. <laughs> You're How the fuck I thought? Shut up. You look not crazy as so fuck. Good You're 14 and 42. You have on chucks and a nose ring. This shit crazy. You're somebody's uncle. How am I supposed Take to wear? Take your fucking what, nose ring off. What am I you supposed to crazy. wear? What am I supposed to wear? What am I supposed to wear? You're like 50. You're like 50. What am I supposed to wear? You're like 50. What am I supposed to wear? Anybody uncle got nose rings? What, what am I supposed to wear? <laughs> no. What the fuck? No. What, no. But technically, no. I'm an uncle now. No. So You're like five years away. He yeah, like 30 years away. Like, you got 33, he's 33 fool. 33. You're not, that's a decade. He old as shit. He still got it. This shit crazy as yeah, fuck. You that's as crazy. That's, that's crazy. crazy. He's old as fuck with chucks and no. the nose ring. Nigga, this shit crazy. You better chill that. out, Uncle Fester. I, I, I don't know, know there's a... You better sit down. I don't know if The Adams family. Man, shut your mouth in my mouth, bro. Nothing, nothing. You got your step in. This nigga dressed like Young Sam on the remix. This crazy as fuck. You like, you actually think you dress good? Or some like shit, bro. Like, bro, you have on chucks. You look, you look like you're in the you fucking. Have on chucks. You look like you're in With the. These oh my god. <laughs> you don't know if you're 16. You're going through a midlife hey, crisis. Josh, you clip bro, this. you do realize you're finna be 50. Bro, you bro. do. Bro, what do is you? this? Wait, wait, what wait, is wait, this? Wait, this wait, is wait, from wait. the liquor store, bro. Let's, let's like, you can't talk hey, to me with wait. liquor store attire on. Do you realize on, that you're finna be 50? <laughs> Balenciaga do doesn't make that. that you're finna be Balenciaga 50? doesn't make that. Do you realize that. you're finna be 50? Do you realize you're they too old for cubic zirconium? Do you, you're finna be 50? do you realize Balenciaga That's doesn't cute. make that? You do realize you're finna be 50. But they don't. You have a nose. Oh, yeah. What if we just keep their mics off? Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. All right. Let me bring this reading. Next stop. Yes, I'm free from prison, but I'm still not completely out. Greedy wrote on Instagram, for anyone confused, I'm in a halfway house for up to six months with a five-minute phone call a week where I just want to see my daughter record music. I wish I could have released a lot more music while I was away. So I have this chip on my shoulder to just record and drop at least 12 tapes before my major album. And honestly, just don't want to talk to a lot of people yet. I got a lot I want to clear in my head first. He added, so if I'm not recording with you and laying with you, I'm not in a rush to talk after damn near five years. Just being honest. Salute to the G-Hive and all my supporters. I love you. Thank you for keeping me alive while I was incarcerated. Fire. That's right. I, I, so, thought, he, um, I thought he didn't have access to a phone. This is probably a statement through his people and shit. So. Oh, that's fire. Free that man. I yeah, think that's fire. yeah, what you think about that, y'all? He free. I don't know, Almighty Arthur. When Here you go. Here. <laughs> no, he got flamed. <laughs> Almighty Johnson. Hey, Almighty uh, Johnson Papa. in the building. There you go with the Reddit joke. He like, fuck, I don't know oh this guy. And we're off again. That's beautiful. Hey. You look like what? a you look like a that chameleon, so bro. Cute. Get the fuck out of that here, so fool. All right, so what y'all think about Greedo? Sure That's so cute. I won already. You you have all, you're 50 with chucks in the nose ring. I won. It's over. Until you come in this motherfucker look like a respectable grandpa, we have nothing to talk about. Bro. Until you come in here looking like a respectable grandpa, we have nothing to talk about. Holler at me when Balenciaga makes something that you wear, fool. He said a respectable grandpa. Uh -huh. grandpa. You That's look pretty crazy. Good. I fucks with that. Fuck I fucks here. with that. I'm All right, read the news, man. Free Greedo. We're not listening to him and these dry ass what, jokes. What's Arthur got to say? Free Greedo, nigga. <laughs> these dry ass jokes. What's Arthur got to say about nigga. this? He finna drop some hot shit. He gonna drop some hot shit for no sure. Cap. Ben needed that. He yeah, man. Drop some hot it's, shit. It, yeah. He gonna focus on his craft. He gonna come back swinging. He has a chance, man. To me, in my opinion, take over this West Coast shit right now, man. We need a new identity, man. I feel like Greedo could bring it on for us. You feel me? Facts, most definitely, because it's like he has a sound. 
that like transgresses just here. Like, you know what I'm saying? He has like a, a nationwide sound and I think mm -hmm. we need that back. Cause I feel like LA is going in like a super Detroit direction. Or I feel like we just losing our sound and our culture. And losing our identity. Like, yeah, we is, you know what I'm saying? Trying to chase other places and shit, but it's cool to, but I think we do that like instinctively because people be like, oh, that West Coast sound is is regional. You know what I'm saying? So people try to jump outside the box. I think Greedo do a good job of being himself and it still transgresses just the West Coast. He could go in any bag he wants yeah, he to. Yeah, he do his thing. He, he could do whatever he wants. So, yeah, I think that what we're going to hear next from Greedo is going to be a whole new other sound. <laughs> Shut your ass up, Bumps and Venture. <laughs> <laughs> You old Neanderthal, bulbous head, hairy knuckle looking ass. He is under attack right now. I didn't even say nothing. You, I didn't even say nothing. You ain't even need to. Bro, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even say nothing. You got one more than I want your ass. I'm just telling you now. Man, shut up. Mouth guard, mouth guard veneers, bro. Looking like one blog. Hey, Lord Varies, you better chill out, man. You can't use Adam's jokes. You can't get me with Adam's jokes. You can't get me. Suspect oh. still. I, I'm not even responding to suspect because he's still he's still hey, dead. Hey, he's Nesperatu. still dead from he's, 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 still, he's, still, he's still he's still he's still dead from last week. He's still dead from last week. Oh my god! All the shit. All the shit. Even the um. Even that. Shut even the despicable me, even the despicable me is played out. Shut up, you got a nose ring. We don't hear nothing. Oh that my shit. god. Let's pull it up. It's Stop not. Stop playing, Stop playing, Come on. Now, nah. nah, pull up the other one. What the fuck is that? Nah, nah, you gotta get a Google what stock image. What the fuck? Image. We need the Google oh. stock image. Nigga, oh. welcome Spongebob. Oh my welcome god. Spongebob. Put in Spongebob. Uh. Nespratu, Spongebob. No cap. Uh. It's all that. She's like a Spongebob uh. vampire. With your all that. This ain't Spongebob uh, Vampire. Spongebob Vampire. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. Go Spongebob that's Vampire. Cool, cool. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. With your all that. <laughs> Nigga, somebody get that fucking paw paw. What the fuck? <laughs> You best start laughing what too. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, slay. 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 Nigga, shit. Nigga. How did you even know that nigga slay. name? Nigga, come That nigga name shit. is Nofatu. Nesperatu. <laughs> nigga, that's your new name. You are not Lush. You are Nesperatu. Nigga, I'll fuck be out that. Of here. I'll be that. You better be that. I'll be that. You better be that, Paul. I'll, 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 I'll be that. Paul Paul I'll be that. I'll be that. Almighty Dodson. I'm done. Almighty Dodson. No more Reddit jokes. I just slayed you with all the original ones. Your name is Narfastu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Don't you ever play with me in your life with these Reddit jokes. I will slay you. You, love use, love. you use Reddit jokes for the you, all Despicable Me's Reddit. Oh my this God. Said, oh, these are oh, all Reddit jokes. Oh Those are all Reddit jokes. I was slaying they finna be ready jokes, nigga. Get your shit together. Oh get your God. get your weather together, nigga. With them chucks, nigga. Mm -hmm. With that nose ring, paw paw. Mm -hmm. That shit mm -hmm. crazy. But you got cheetah print chucks, boy. You a disgrace. He finna jerk. <laughs> he finna jerk. He has bro, cheetah print bro. chucks, bro. You have. He finna jerk, bro. Oh. Fake. He's finna jerk. You have oh, a yeah, cubic yeah, zirconian yeah. choker. Ow, my shit really you have fucked. a cubic Don't ever play with me on life. Go get a diamond tester. Don't ever Let's play with me like that in your life. Up. That's a Don't ever play with me like that in your life. Go get a diamond tester. You have a cheetah print with chucks. With diamond dust <laughs> on it. You're a jerk. These are fire. Here, These are fire. No, they're not. These are fire. Paw Paw, midlife crisis these are, these for a twelve-year-old. I would these get these for my daughter. She's seven and a half. I would get these for my daughter. She would love some cheetah print chucks. Paw Paw, bro, with, fuck out of here. You got that at the gas station. Fuck out of here. You got that at the Chevron. Right, I won. Slay. Next. A you guy is going viral because he believes every man in his twenties should have a luxury sports car. A twenty-four-year-old self-made. Or at least self-proclaimed millionaires under fire for declaring that every man should own a luxury sports car by their 20s. Because 200000 is chump change unless you're a lazy loser. Mm. Oh, you talking spicy. Mm. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't own a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Why he sound like the top G? Like he like trying to do that thing. Is that what he is? He's like the Manosphere type nigga? Because it's, I realize now that it's so incredibly mm. easy and yeah. so much more. Top G vibes. Mm. What you think, Josh? 
Ooh, Dude, I think that your 20s are the time where you are figuring everything else out. <clears throat> I mean, to have that claim in your 30s, like, okay, I mean, it's still kind of a wild thing that everybody should be able to afford one, but... Dude, your 20s you're is still a whole, learning yourself. You're living paycheck to paycheck. You're f- going job to job. You're figuring all this shit out in your 20s. Uh, right? There's a reason why those are luxury vehicles with right. high price points. You haven't I, earned a lot. I, a lot honestly, of look at this. That. I would look at this as motivation. You feel me? Like, okay, mm-hmm. I need to I give me that. a Lamborghini and work hard to get that. So, I mean, if you're somebody that feels like, hey, you don't want to take life to the next level and, and want the finer things in life and work for that shit then he is talking to you. You know what I'm saying? But there's also probably a lot of people in their 20s who aspire to try to get a car like this, and it's lost by their 30s. Facts. You know what I mean? Your aspirations should be, by the time I'm 30, I should be easy, Like I should be able to afford this and think about the next biggest thing. Like I, I should have a I, new goal. I couldn't even afford a Toyota. Man. I mean, an old Toyota when I was in 20 in my, my early 20s at all. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't put too much pressure on yourself, everybody out there and shit, too. This I, is this you can look at this. Yeah, you can really look at realistic. this as motivation to, you know, it sounds I want to get a Lamborghini, but it sounds good. I feel yeah, like everything really happens in God's timing because I just feel like now at me at 33 years old, I'm living the way that I want to live and that ain't even to the level that I want to go. You because know what I'm saying? Because like the really successful 20 year olds, if they had the money for a Lamborghini, aren't spending it on a Lamborghini. They're Hell investing no. on themselves. They're investing in other opportunities. They're expanding their business. So by the time they're 30, 40, they can, you know, they can mm-hmm. own these things without caring about what they cost. How but did I, this guy make his money? And, and how is that really a smart investment to be 22 and get a Lambo? It, it's not. It, dep- that not, that it depreciates like value the second you take it off the lot. Yeah, that doesn't sound like an intelligent purchase at all. He just sound like he was saying that shit to like, <laughs> nigga, for viral clips. That's why it's better to lease cars of that magnitude because like when you do it, as soon as you take it off the lot, it's depreciating in value. You make payments on it, then you're going to be able to get a trade-in for something bigger, like, you know, or yeah, unless comparable. You're a, right, unless you're a collector and you don't drive it, you take pristine care of it and don't touch it for the next 15, 20 Terrible years. Terrible investment. A horrible investment. Right. Unless it's like a toy, like a toy where you just leave it in the box and you never touch it. Mm-hmm. Once you take it out, once you drive that motherfucker off the lot, it's like, nah, that's not really a smart purchase <laughs> at all. If this dude started out when he was 15 washing dishes and, and hustling and got to this point, then I can understand him talking that shit. But if he didn't, then this whole thing has an asterisk next to it. Yeah, I mean... It- if you're 20 years old buying a Lamborghini, you could have had a job at eight years old. You could have been an entrepreneur owning a business by the time you were 12, 15, figuring shit out. And yes, there are like these super small stories of people who applied themselves really early and made it. But to call out every 20 year old is lazy. You said 12 years old? There's 12 year olds that own their own business. Yeah, I was still playing with Pokemon. Oh, this, I was too. This I, wasn't, gonna get... I didn't have that entrepreneurial spirit. Mm-hmm. I didn't figure that shit out until, you know high school and after that this will finna get audited by the irs by the end of the year bro at this rate i don't know but yeah it doesn't feel legit at all yeah nah sounds he, good he probably he's one of those niggas who who like sell lifestyle classes and then he used those classes to actually afford the lifestyle that he's using because he's not really making money no other way but sell the courses ass nigga like shit like that ain't that like a ponzi scheme yeah, or like a technically, ter- speaking. technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> depending on what you're selling, yeah, it right. could definitely be set up as a Ponzi. I'm sure he sells life's lifestyle consulting classes somewhere in his bio. Whoever he is, see, that's not so much a Ponzi. That's just being kind of a scammer. Yeah, sounds, that, sounds that is a complete scam. very familiar to me. <laughs> I've heard this story once yeah, or twice. Yeah, I've heard it a couple times. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, nah, that was different. He he just talking spicy. FBG Duck Mothers suggests Lil Durk affiliate THF crack dropped her son's location. Okay, this is crazy. FBG Duck's mother is a legend, and Lil Durk's homie shared the location of her son the day he was shot and killed in downtown Chicago. I mean, what else is there to talk about this? Yeah, that's I'm, crazy. I mean, I mean was I, it done intentionally or probably not? Well, if it's, right? if, if it's, if it's, if it's not, none of my business. Yeah. More context to just b- before you could just say anything about it. I, I don't know if it was accidental. And then we don't know if he was with him, if he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know the details. Little, I don't know. Little Dirk affiliate. I mean, <laughs> let's. Made the post is about to be <coughs> all downtown. 
I don't think that's dropping his location. I think that's, that's I not. Some, that's I not. got some information. You feel me? I possibly got some information about some shit that might possibly be going down. That don't sound like dropping his location. Downtown Chicago is a big ass area to say someone's and it's nice as fuck yeah. in downtown Chicago. If you've been down there, yeah. If you say someone's downtown, that's not dropping location. That shit like Beverly Hills down there. But but what I will say is I feel horrible for Mama Duck. Yeah. This shouldn't be happening. Like nobody should have to be burying their children, regardless. <laughs> and uh, you know, if this is like how her grief process is manifesting now to the point where she's trying to find out information and find justice for her son, I totally understand it. But it's just you know, it's a it's a terrible situation. R.I.P. Duck. Yeah, that shit definitely R.I.P. He, Duck. He was, was he was on his way up. Yeah, I fuck with the whole little FBG thing back in the day. I, I used to go crazy for that shit. R. RP Duck, he's a goat <clears throat> for sure. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Actually, just follow up. Did you see Alec Baldwin's not getting charged now? He shouldn't be. We had that discussion on Friday yeah, yeah, where he shouldn't be. some people, Yuri Flacco, were saying that he deserves to be prosecuted and all and deserves to serve. I know time. this is this I knew is he where wasn't going this to. is where it gets weird. They said that it wasn't a scene and he just pointed at her. Wait, what? That's what they were saying. I right? thought it was in the scene. No, I, I heard it was not in the scene. I heard that he just pointed it. It yeah, <laughs> again, I even if that was the case. But that's not his fault I though. Don't, exactly. He's an actor, do not be If you're an actor and, and somebody's job gun. is to put blanks mm -hmm. into the gun, yeah. whether he's playing or not, yeah. I don't feel like he's liable. That's still a weird that. thing to do playing around, but But yeah. I can see I can see us right now. Like, oh, this is some faking here and accidentally shoot somebody. Like right. you had no Especially ill intent. You're actor. practicing a scene. You're doing yeah. X, Y, and Z. You're trying to get, you know, they could have been doing camera tests. Like it might have not been actually for the scene. It could have been just something else, but there's a thousand reasons why he might have had that gun, but he, he should not be held liable for having a loaded gun. He should have never had that. Hundred yeah. percent. It's other never been on set. To make sure that that's in place and was not. Right. I don't know whoever job it was to put the blanks in there. Probably feel like shit. I mean, they man. getting they getting charged. I mean, I think that's the person who has to go down for all. They of getting this. charged one hundred percent, and the um and their supervisor and the studio is going to be paying for this in some capacity, yeah, just definitely. through insurance and everything. That's a like, wrongful death lawsuit. One thousand percent. Yeah, sure. the studio is definitely paying money off of, from this. I think they're just they're trying to find some semblance of who to blame and who to assign. Mm. And again, New Mexico is a state where they want to you know. Their they DA want that doesn't industry. want to get yeah. exactly like, but they also don't want to get pushed over and say like you can't do this fucked up shit and not have any type of consequence for it while it happens here. New Mexico, like they, Mexico is one of those places like Arizona. Like, they're they're trying to get more Hollywood activity out there. They want that industry there. So obviously this is like a stain on their legacy as far as that goes but i'm glad he's not getting charged because i don't think he deserved it personally nah, i don't think he deserves that yeah, it's nah, fucked up i'm sure he didn't yeah i'm sure he didn't just point it to her like and did it in any malicious manner so i nah. think yeah I, I think you know it's a crazy situation personally man. i wouldn't play like that even if it is like a a blank but still like it's still yeah. kind of, a little bit weird i mean i would i know i was just gonna <laughs> say i've seen don't, things that don't make me say suggest it. that no <laughs> Dude, there's a thousand people who would play with a gun given certain like I've they've been they've brought prop guns in here before and we fucked the first thing we did was fuck around with them. Right. Like yeah. everyone's Nigga, taking pictures. Y'all shot them. me everyone, with them with them though. Oh yeah, the little gel blasters and everything. Like that's funny as fuck. But no, we've we've uh they've rented prop guns for like music videos and stuff and they brought that shit in. The first thing we did was fuck around with them. Mm -hmm. That's just your instinct. It's no, it's not responsible, but it's inevitable. At all. That's why you got to do proper gun safety. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Unload the chamber, checkmate, make sure one in the head. You know what I'm saying? You got to yep. do your proper gun safety. And that's the ironic thing about this whole thing is that Alec Baldwin is like an outspoken anti-gun advocate. Mm. And he was saying like, don't, he doesn't think that gun safety should be taught. But ironically, if it was taught and he was using proper gun etiquette, none of this would have happened. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like. It sounds like he doesn't use guns. So in what what you don't know, you fear. You feel me? The unknown is what scares you. Once you learn shit and you learn how to, because I feel like everybody was was that way, or at least I was. I was scared of guns until I started playing with guns, and I figured out like it's only gonna hurt you if you do some and I know some improper a shit. A lot of I've seen a lot of accidental deaths 
over people just playing around with fucking guns. You're smarter knowing how it operates mm -hmm. and what to look for than you are just completely keeping it away from you. Because, again, it's inevitable that Facts. it's going to end up in front of you or end up in your hands. Or Facts. And if you want to learn, I got a homeboy, Hard Target Pro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can go out there. He'll teach you how to shoot, how to handle weapons properly, do everything. Mm -hmm. Fire. Yeah. I like going. It's, it's, it's cool. I, I should fuck with it. Yeah, this, I'll take, I'll we should go. Bro. Cause we we well me we Ben was supposed to do this shit. Yeah, but I want to go to but an the outdoor outside. Range, yeah, though. let's. We I'll tell you off camera where yeah, it's yeah, at. Yeah, we yeah. Can, can we make that a vlog? That yeah. would be a tight. Let's vlog. do it. Let, let's do I it this shoot weekend. A mini Draco yeah. legally. Uh, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna set it up. We'll do that this weekend. That'll, That'll be, be dope legally. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, we can call it a wrap. Fire. All right, that shit was shout fun. out, man. No jumper news. Ad suspect and Arfatu. We and out of this motherfucker. You feel me? All right, Let's go. all right. <laughs> Shut your quagmire looking ass up, boy. We'll be back tomorrow.